Welcome, Benny Pollard from Nova Salon. Thank you. Welcome back. He's one of our Coffee Talk alumni, and we're super excited to have you here, especially in our Millennium Video Studio for the first time ever. First one. Thank you. Yes. So I know that today we're going to be talking a lot about uh, what you represent as far as uh, career dreams, education, and client retention. So let's get started a little bit with career dreams. Let's do it. All right. Well, first off, I always have to ask, as you guys know, how do you take your coffee? Black, like motor oil. He's not lying, guys. Black. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Motor oil, baby. There's like a huge difference in comparison in these cups right now. Yeah, it looks like you're having brown milk as opposed to black coffee. But it's lovely. Okay. And super, super sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So when I sat down uh, with our marketing department and we really were excited to kind of jumpstart and knew that you were mm -hmm. going to be here and create some questions for this coffee talk, uh, one of the things that we came across, which I thought was super beautiful on your website, you had this quote that was, there is greatness in every single one of us and time, sometimes we need to be reminded of it. And that really made me start thinking about a lot of the things that we were going to be talking about today, right? And what you represent. So. How do you motivate your team to be successful in their career dreams? Uh, we have to, that's, a, that's always a great question and I, and I really appreciate that. And we have to go backwards a little bit and realize some of where most of our, our new people are coming into the industry and where they're coming from and what they're even aware of is possible, what, what they're, they can see as possibility. And when we are able to show them that this is possible, or this is possible, or this is possible. And for example, um, would you like to be a platform artist? Would you like to do photo shoots? Um, I had a young lady come to me after speaking at a school 20 years ago. She's been with me 20 years now. And when she came in for her interview, she said, I didn't even know that existed. And that was a real eye opener for me to, to share all the avenues of possibility for all these young folks coming in so that they could actually get their head around what their dreams are. You see, most people will never accomplish their dreams because they don't even know what they are. It never even occurred to them that they could or what was possible. Mm -hmm. So first things first, expose your team to what is possible for them and then help and guide and coach them on whatever aspect it is. And for all of our salon owners out there, I would highly recommend looking in, the, in all the various aspects of what's possible in our, our salon industry to be able to provide that uh, for those people. So at that end, what would you uh, suggest to business owners as what their vision should be for hiring potential employees? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's excellent. The first thing that we need to do as business owners, uh, and I'll say salon owners directly, is that's what we're doing, is to understand and make a decision on what our marketplace is going to look like. Where do we want to position ourselves? So for example, if I want to do a real underground music groove and my clientele is going to be, you know, the guys that are playing the clubs all the time and they like the more hardcore music or rock music or, or, or punk or whatever it might be or the, or the dance crowd. That's a particular type of positioning for your salon as opposed to doing a position where, you know, your average ticket is $250. So there's two completely different marketplaces. So once we decide which position we want, then we start working backwards and, and cast our vision and then bring our team into our vision so they can see what's happening. Uh, it's hard to have vision for, have them have vision until I can show them what it is. And then once I cast vision, then I can take them along. But marketplace position is very, is first. If we don't know who we are, we're never gonna be able to cast the vision for our team. Interesting. Now, one of the things that I know that you did recently was you rebranded. The last time you were here, you sat down with Colleen and you talked a little bit about what that journey was going to be like for you. I'm sure that now that you guys have kind of gone through that transition of opening this beautiful place, which I stalked you on, you know, the internet to see what it looked like. Right, it's right. gorgeous. Right. Um, what has that process been like for you as I'm sure that you've hired new employees? Well, even since I was here, we opened a second one. And so we really went nuts. Okay. Uh, in, a, in a good way. <laughs> uh, it was um, the thing about doing that, and, and, and I'll set the premise, 20, almost 25 years of a salon as Hair by Benny and Friends, changed complete branding, com complete identity to Nova Salon, and then we opened the second one. 
that was a pretty interesting time and we orchestrated it very well over the course of about four months with the PR campaigns and so forth. Uh, and the energy and, and the morale was skyrocketing and it allowed us to be even more attractive to young new talent. They're like, what is going on over there? And yes, it looks really pretty. It smells really pretty. It's very modern and very cool, but it's the team's energy that became the magnet for new talent. It was like an aura. It's, it always used the word energy. It's really an energy that, tr that moves out to the universe and allows others to like, ah, I want to I wanna be a part of that. Well, something's over there. I want to go over there. Uh, and, and then of course, when they walk in, it is very attractive and I'm very proud of how it looks. And so the, the look and the energy and the love all come together and that becomes a, a magnificent recruiting uh, mechanism. That's amazing. It's awesome to watch it happen. So when we talk about career dreams, how do you balance the needs of businesses' goals versus the potential for the employees? Three main words, very clear expectations. For a person to truly be successful, they have to have a real clear understanding of what's expected of them, what's expected of the business, what's expected of the teammates, and so forth. And with that, we can balance and intertwine their goals and dreams with our goals and dreams as a company. And then everybody wins. Perfect. Thank you so much, guys, for sitting down with us today. Make sure to tune in for part two, where we sit down and talk about educating your employees. Please let us know if you liked the video and leave a comment below. Don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications so you know when the next one's coming out. We look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.